Hello people, I am back with a couple more project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. Here is the Scrap Diva website and this is the rest of her social information. So today I'm going to share with you a couple things that I've made. First off is this one which is called Witch Hat Box. <clears throat> so let me show you what this is. Hopefully I have good light here. I'm, it's rainy today and all dark so. <laughs> all right so this is what I made. I think it turned out super cute. <clears throat> you guys this is so cute and easy to put together. <coughs> Sorry. I figured I was going to have a problem talking this morning. My allergies are kind of going a little crazy right now so this is the box so this is the base as you can tell um, and so I decorated with pattern paper um, this pe this project here I'm still using um, some of the Frank Garcia Luna and 31 and stuff all kind of combined because I don't have hardly any of it um, and then I use some of this <clears throat> I'm sorry guys um, this little star trim this is from Spellbinders that I got on a, it was on a one of those really good sales they have sometimes. It came in a package. And I love it because it's like um, more vintage looking. It just looks a little distressed on the edges. It's really pretty. So it's not this bright in your face glitter uh, or silver. So I really like that. And then this is just some trim from Hobby Lobby. I decorated that, put around the outside rim. Okay. And then here's the top that goes on. So I got a cute little, um, this was a pick. I took the bat off the pick and just glued it on the top. Um, let's see, here's one of the um, witch broom shakers from Scrap Diva also. Um, let me grab that, let me see, they're right here though. So it comes with a set of two. So there's two different shapes. This one's this kind of rounded one here and there's also kind of a more triangle shape one. It's called Witch Brew Shakers. This one is layered up, but it's not a shaker. So I just got, like glued down some um, sequins in there. Um, this is a cute little plastic spider I got at, um, was it last year? I think it was last year that I got at um, Spirit Halloween. <clears throat> they had a bag full of like, it has like skulls and bats and this, and they're all in pastel colors. So I use that pink one there. Got some flowers kind of um, scattered around, cute little bow. Um, this is one of those little star, um, uh, like patch type things I got off Timu. Got a little feather right here, little stars. Um, these are like sequin stars that I just kind of put around a couple places. So super cute. This is so easy to put together. I thought it, it looked like it was gonna be hard. It's really easy and quick. So, um, yeah, super cute. And then you can put some of your little goodies in there. I mean, it's pretty good size. You got, here's a couple of washi tapes could go down in there. I mean, just, I'm just grabbing stuff off my desk. So it could be, you know, a few different things, put a bunch of charms or cabochons or something in there, or maybe a couple, a uh, few like <clears throat> little like handmade um, bows or some rosettes, something like that. Really cute. Then it just goes on like that. So I think that turned out really pretty. Um, they sold out, and so they're on pre-order. Um, I'll link Erica's shop, and I'll have all the links to the, um, you know, to all the products. So go on there and do a pre-order for. I'm, I'm thinking they're probably going to be coming in soon because they've been on a pre-order for a little bit. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't think they'd be a whole lot longer before they were ready to ship out again. So, really cute. Okay, and then the next one that I played with is called the Voodoo Doll Mini Album. So here it is. So it's got your voodoo, you know, your your piece that cuts out, um, you know, with the eyes and stuff. And then you got a layering piece for that, and then another layering layering piece for the or the base piece for the, you know, to make it a mini album and stuff. There's nowhere to connect it on this one, but you can use another one from another die set or just, you know, punch a hole, whatever you want to do. And it also comes with this heart and then the two, you know, little needle things to <laughs> put 
put in so yep very cute so <clears throat> this is the one I made so this now I switched to using some um, more traditional colors and the collection that this is made out of is the simple storage simple stories simple vintage october 31st it's a couple years old i believe let me see if it has the date on one of these papers 2022 so i'm using that collection for this that i'm making right now and something else that i'm making but Anyway, so this is the base piece here, the striped, and then you got your layering piece right here, the orange, and then this black is the like the base piece, okay? And then the heart and the pins. I cut the heart and the pins out of foam also and layered them up so I give them some dimension. These are just some pieces from the collection that I added on, and I got this cute little broom a year or two ago out of, off of I think I'm off the Alley Express. And then I tied a twine bow there, put a little jemmy thing that I had in my stash that had black around it, so I thought that looked cute in there. I've seen people do buttons and stuff, but I wanted to do mine a little bit different, so I used that instead. Punched a little hole and put one of these tiny little bat um, charms hanging off the, the hat, so the witch's hat. This is another Scrap Diva um, die set too from last year. It's really cute, it has this bow with it. And it's layered up, I love this too. So, and I cut the, the hat, as you can see, it's out of a glossy black paper. That turned out really cute. So yeah, that's this other one I'm working on right now. So I just wanted to give a quick share of those. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will um, link Erica's shop. I'll list my discount code if you decide to purchase anything. Um, and then I'll link the die sets that I used, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.